He's he's a strong horse. He jumps yeah, well, the fence. Finn would like to chop his face off with his teeth. He's just playful, like friendly, playful. He hops the fence and is in both fields now. Hi. What is it? There you go. You just ride by like it's nothing, okay? Finn just, just Finn's just pinning his ears. You're not gonna have anything done to you. Thank you for the tea and cookies. Oh, you're welcome. I really it. I didn't want to bring you any treats and that we've touched. Mm. Get! Look at that horse. He thinks you're playing with him now. <laughs> not yet. Oh yes, you can because you can't breathe. Okay, back to your trot, miss. Keep your loose reins like you had. I was really appreciating them and so was he. So the chiropractor wanted us to do them, these stretches and we did them already. So maybe it'll make it better for him. Alright Fiona, I have a question. This is a two million dollar question. Okay. How come a girl's light seat so much and hardly ever sit in the saddle? Uh, it builds a lot more muscle. And they do know how to full seat. Yeah, they were trained to full seat. That's, they were. We, I started them in full seat. Yeah, everybody, they all know how, they all know how to, how to. They were all trained to do okay. it. And if you watch, like, Sophie can full seat on so Storm a whole lot better than she can full seat on Finn. And Sophie got worse at full seating over this winter. Like, she used to be amazing at full Correct. seating. And, and then, not her, it's the horse. well, and it's also the fact that we had no trainers. That too. But and she didn't do it. Like, and she didn't do it all winter no. because we had no trainers. It's different muscles that you use, right? Yeah. So, we do a lot of light seats so that they can build up the muscle in their two point. They can feel comfortable up in the saddle and using their legs properly. It also keeps their leg underneath them in a proper position so that when they go to full seat, then they can keep the leg in the same position instead of falling back yeah, into a chair seat. Your horse pulls you forward and then you pull muscle in your back. Yeah, she's always pulling muscles in her back. It must be because she's. She's Use doing... your uh, thigh muscles more when he pulls against you instead of your back. Tighten your thighs on the saddle when he pulls against you. All right, so when is it appropriate to full seat in hunters? Um, if you have a horse that needs to be balanced, you can full seat before a fence. However, it looks better if you can maintain one position throughout the entire ride. Really? So you can sit to regain your horse, but if you're a rider who looks gangly going from full seat to light seat and struggling, take a breather, and struggling to get that position, then it's actually more detrimental to your ride because it draws more attention. Staying in light seat, staying in one position, rocking the horse balanced and uphill is exactly what you want with rhythm and fluidity. But if your horse gets flat before a fence and you need to sit two strides to lift them, as long as you can do it nicely, then do it. That's when okay. you Okay. All right. I see a lot of people sitting before the fence. That's because their horse gets flat. Like they our... can't control it. Yeah. In a light seat. When you can actually control and keep that lightness in a light seat, you have become a talented rider. Your horse has become a very balanced horse. Gotcha. Um... No, I would say he's just as slow in, in both. He gets a little shorter strided when you're in two point because you're over his shoulders and we need to balance a little bit more into our legs so that he doesn't have to carry all, all of our weight over his front end. We still want to maintain our balance over the middle of his back even though we're leaning forward. All right, we have barrels. We have these jumps over here. And then we have this little cavaletti thing here. All right, ladies, let's try it on. 
go to the boat of the other horse and ride straight. Find something at the other end of the ring. Hands forward. Let him go, please. Hands more forward. Let's do it again. You have to have a little more faith in your horse over the trot pole. <laughs> now hands up by his martingale. Thank you. Ah, they're trot poles. He can't canter. So as much as he thinks about it, he hits those poles and goes, ah, crap. And then we have that conversation, Sophia, where you hold that saddle with your legs. And whenever you go off his back, you take the saddle with you. Lift your hands up and lean back. Much better. Much better. Hands up again. You're leaning forward and dropping your hands. You can deal, sir. You can put across the man in front of your sister. Get back, get back, get back on. You can do it. Lift your hands up and lean back. That's all you got to do. Hands up, lean back. Half halt, release. Half halt, release. That's it. Do not hold his mouth. Use it and lose it. Get your hands up, Sophia. I want them in front of your belly button when you full seat. Hands up, shoulders back. Gabby's gonna do a circle, Laura, step towards me. Yeah. Oh. I feel nervous. More outside. Breathe, half halt, use it and lose it. Good girl, use your breathing. You know he listens to you. Good girl, and walk, because you're losing your breath. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Try again. There you go. Grip with your thighs. You gotta hold that saddle, remember? You can go a little too far in there, Sophia. That's how you raise your corner. Remember when you have hold starts with your body. Tighten your core, tighten your leg, and breathe out. Then add the rein. Gabby, circle please. Crazy girl. Oh, Ben. You can poop and canter. Thank you. Outside, outside, outside. Stop in the elbow. So. Make it happen. There. Make him. That's a nicer drop for his legs. He's not stabbing his feet into the ground. You just have to tighten your core up now and ride it, girl. Remember, big half halt, let him figure it out. You're not grabbing and tugging, you're picking up the contact slowly. Put pressure and then drop it. Pick up, put pressure and then drop it. All right, ladies, take a breather. I can definitely tell Sophie is not up to, like, she seems normal and fine at home, but she, her energy level is still not come back up. She feels good, just that her energy level is not quite there yet. Good girl, look. Look! You're gonna get run over, Mom. Yeah, this is what she does. Breathe. <laughs> breathe. Breathe. Good. Come on, Taylor, you got this. You got your better than you think. That's it. Just breathe and look up at the end. Let him go. One, two. There! Well done! You may walk. Look up. Big breath out around the corner and then let him be. Yes! Big breath at the first pole. Legs, hands. Yes. Good oh, job. Yeah. Let's do it again. Nice lead. In there, right? So that's why it feels a little awkward. Big breath out. Look. Hands forward. Let them go. Good release. Good job. Breathe. Look. Release with his head. Wait for the jump. Wait. Yes. Beautiful. How did that one feel? One more time. After you're gonna ride the diagonal. Look. Wait for the jump. Wait. Yes. Yes. Look up. Look past the jumps to the hole in the pole. Good job, trot. Diagonal. Yep. Trot, fix your lead. Breathe. Now wait for the jump and release. Good. Can you hear it? Yes. Two, one. Pull, pull, pull. Pull. Yes. That was gorgeous. It was actually gorgeous, it Sophia. It was stunning. Your two point was lovely.
smoothly. You released, you followed through, you didn't bash him in the mouth. No, not at all. He had to reach for his stride. He's a pony. Do you know how to shorten his stride? You had to reach. Way to ride in between. It looked stunning. When big and a little, you gotta kind of stick your jumps in the between, right? So you gotta ride a little bigger, she's gotta ride a little smaller. <coughs> I'm not running around making your mom extend the jumps and cr crunch the jumps. That's not fair. Basically, she's saying your mom sucks at jumps, so we're doing <laughs> the best we can for her. Cool them out, ladies. Say thank you. Don't you know that you're beautiful?